All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example of direct proportion. And just kind of as an example, if we say y varies directly as x, the way we can write that is y equals kx. We could also write it as x equals ky. So either of those are, are fair to say. Um, the main idea, if things vary directly, this, this k, which is called sometimes the constant of proportionality, so k is just some number. Um, some constant. The idea is everything is getting multiplied. The, the, uh, there's basically no division that you see in here. So when we talk about in, indirect uh, proportions, you'll see that. Okay, so in this case, uh, we're going to do a problem about Hooke's Law. And Hooke's Law states that uh, it says that the distance x, which is spring, can be stretched varies directly as the force exerted on it. So if, since, since the distance we stretch it and the force can, uh, since those vary directly, we can write that equation as F equals KX. Again, where F represents the force. Typically in these problems, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use some information, determine K first, and then go back and solve for whatever it is that they, uh, they want you to solve for. So notice in the first, they tell us a, a force of 30 pounds uh, is going to stretch a spring 6 inches. And we want to know how much force it would take to stretch the spring, say, um, a total of 11 inches. So we know that 30 pounds stretches at 6 inches. Uh, one thing that's important too, typically units, when you do units involving um, pounds, we use the units that are called foot-pounds. So a lot of times what I do, if things are, for example, in this problem in inches, I'm going to convert it into feet. So 6 inches would be 6 out of 12, or it, it would be 1 half of a foot. 6 inches would be 1 half of a foot. So we know that 30 pounds equals K times um, however far we stretch it. So again, 6 inches, or equivalently uh, 1 half of a foot. So if we solve this for k, we can simply multiply both sides by 2, and we would get that k has the value 60. So now that tells me that the force equation, uh, this, this, this formula we should be using, would be that force, the constant is 60 times x. So in the next part, we want to figure out how much force it would take to stretch it six in, excuse me, 11 inches. And again, 11 inches would be, well, 11 twelfths of a foot. So that's what I'm going to plug in again for x. So it says the force is going to be 60 times 11 over 12. Again, uh, this would be in pounds. So we could simplify this a little bit. Um, that's 60 times 11 over 12. So I think uh, 60 over 12, let's see, I think 4 goes into both of those numbers. 4 will go into 60 um, 15 times, and 4 would go into 12 3 times. So I guess actually there's, there's something a little bit better here we could use, um, namely 6, duh, of course. Um, but okay, so 15 over 3, that reduces to just 5. So 5 times 11 is going to be 55. It says we would need 55 pounds of force to stretch the spring a total of 11 inches.